Hey there guys, alright, today we are back with some more History Matters, and this time we are asking ourselves the question of why did Poland's border change so much after World War II, a short animated documentary. Now before we dive in, make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below, I would love it if you join the Discord, follow me over at Twitch, and please do go check out the two gaming channels here on YouTube. Um, why did Poland's border change so much after World War II? Well, I don't. No, I don't really have a good guess. I never really understood it. Like, they got a lot of land that I felt like belonged to more Germans than it did Poles. But maybe I'm wrong on that interpretation of that understanding. Um, so, all that said, let's go ahead and dive in and get the answer. When World War II began, Poland had these borders. And when the dust had settled, they looked like this. With this area being permanent. Oh, yes. They went westward. They lost to Warsaw and all of these former German lands becoming a part of the reborn Polish state. But given how different Poland looked just six years earlier, it raises the question, why? So yes. throughout the Second World War, the major allied powers, oh. not you, Whoa. were constantly in negotiations about what was to happen to Poland after they were victorious. At first, the British had hoped for the restoration of the pre-war Polish government who everyone would then negotiate with. But as the Red Army swept across Eastern Europe, it became clear that Stalin had other plans. As such, Britain and the United States had to make sure that the Polish post-war settlement aligned with Soviet security needs. The Soviets wanted more buffer between Moscow and Berlin, and as such, that meant two things. Soviet gains to the west and German losses to the east. A significant chunk of Poland's pre-war population were Ruthenians, Russians, Ukrainians, or Belarusians, and so Stalin wanted to incorporate them into the USSR. Of course, much hmm. of this has previously been done under the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, but many weren't too happy with that agreement persevering, and so Stalin opted to negotiate with the Polish government in exile. They weren't willing to give him everything he wanted. Dear Joe, we, the Polish government, do not wish to give away land or change our borders. As you will likely remember, your country acknowledged what our borders were in 1921, because we kept shooting at you until you left. Thanks for beating the Germans, but no deal. Your friend, Poland. Wanted, and so he just made his own Polish government who soon agreed. Hmm. To Britain and the US, because getting Stalin on side was the most important part of putting the war behind them, they threw Poland under the bus. The yep. agreement between Stalin and the new Polish government was that Poland would lose most of the lands that the Soviets gained in 1939. And in return, Stalin would push for Poland to expand westward into Germany. Now, the reason why Stalin returned these two areas to Poland wasn't because he was a stand-up guy. Hmm. It was because he didn't want the changes to look like a diktat. It was, of course, but it was enough that Britain and the United States could pretend that they hadn't just caved to a dictator. During the Potsdam Conference in 1945, the Allies agreed that Poland's western borders would go up to here until a permanent solution could be negotiated. So why these lands in particular? Well, for a start, giving them to Poland meant that any potential resurgent Germany would have to fight a much more industrialised nation with a large river as a natural border. Oh. Furthermore, by destroying East Prussia and giving Poland Gdansk, the territorial tensions which led to war in the first place were now gone for good. Ever. As were the Germans living there. Now, Poland's oh, newfound yep. lands were to be populated by the Polish who were already at that point living in the USSR and those whom Stalin had arrested over the previous decades. <laughs> and by settling millions of people there, West Germany, or later a unified Germany, wouldn't have much of a claim to the lands. And the Cold War soon meant that there was no further Allied conference on formalising Poland's borders. But of course, it wasn't long until temporary borders became permanent ones, thereby completing Poland's movement westward. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Damn, this was a good video. Okay, and that was why Poland's borders changed after so much after World War II. This was really good. Um, loved the explanation here. Um, and damn, that's actually really fucking interesting. That um, yeah, no, those lands were populated primarily by Germans, and then war happened. War ends, and. Essentially what the German... Honestly, it's kind of a bit of a... A little bit of poetic irony, in a way. Um, because the Germans' uh, uh, plan was to, right, conquer uh, Poland for Lebensraum and kick out the Poles and populate the land with uh, Germans. Well, they lose the war, and so then Poland gets some land, kicks out the Germans, and the Polish get to live there kind of funny <laughs> it's a, funny in an uh, the poetic irony sort of way um it's kind of fitting honestly i kind of kind of like it um obviously that sucks for the germans that had been living there for you know a long time likely inherited uh lands houses from 
family from ages ago and then if it weren't destroyed in the war um oof yeah damn i've got nothing else to add here at the end i hope you guys enjoyed remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next video peace